standard third subject maths topic multiplication part 1 hello students so students you have already learned about using tables for multiplication properties of multiplication etc so we'll quickly recall it so as you can see on the screen 6 into 5 that is we are going to add 6 5 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 and 5 so we have added 6 5 5 it is also written as 6 into 5 or 6 multiplied by 5 so students with the help of tables we can find out the answer so 6 ones are 6 6 twos are 12 6 threes are 18 6 fours are 24 and 6 fives are 30 so our answer is 30 now students in multiplication 6 into 5 mean we multiply the first number 6 it is the multiplicand we multiply the second number 5 it is the multiplier the answer 30 is known as product So students today we are going to learn about multiplication in detail so multiplication of tens multiplication of two digit number by one digit number the lattice method multiplying two two digit numbers the lattice method So students now we are going to learn multiplication of tens 3 into 10 so students multiplying a number by 10 means taking 10 times that number so as you can see b is added 10 times 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 so your 3 is added 10 times Thus, three into ten is ten times three, or three tens. That is, three times ten. So, students, three into ten. The answer is thirty. to multiply a number by 10 we just need to put a zero after it for example 5 for example 5 multiply by 10 to find the answer we can multiply 5 by 1 and place a zero after the product so 5 ones are 5 and we have to just place one zero that is 50 students there is also another method to do this that is as you all know we always start multiplication from the units place so you also we are going to do the same so 5 multiply by 0 so 5 zeros are 0 and 5 ones are 5 so the answer is 50 next is 8 multiply by 10 so 8 zeros are 0 and 8 ones are 8 next is 13 multiply by 10 so 13 zeros are 
zero and thirteen ones are thirteen. So answer is one thirty. Next is twenty four multiplied by ten. So twenty four zeros are zero and twenty four ones are twenty four. So answer is two hundred and forty. So students, next is four into fifty. So what are we going to do here? We are going to multiply four into zero. So four zeros are zero, and four fives are what is the answer? Twenty. Very good. So the answer is two hundred. Next is six into thirty. That is six multiplied by thirty. So first we are going to multiply six into zero. Students, as we always start it from the units place. So six zeros are zero and six threes are eighteen. So our answer is one eighty. Now students, forty multiplied by ten. Now. What are we going to do for this? Let's see. If there is a zero in the units place of both the number, then multiply the digits in the in their tens place and write two zeros after the product. So as you can see, forty into twenty. So here we are going to multiply four and two. So four two is eight, and these two zeros we are going to put after eight. So the product will be eight hundred. So students, that means. Fourteen to twenty is eight hundred. First, we carry out four into two, and then we write two zeros after their product. Twenty into twenty. So here we'll multiply two and two. So two two is four and. This two zeros will come after the product. That is, the answer is four hundred. Three tens into three tens. So three tens means thirty. So thirty into thirty. Here we can multiply three into three. So three three is nine, and two zeros will come. So the answer is. Nine hundred. Addition of a two-digit number by a one-digit number, the lattice method. Thirty-four into two. So, students, here we must multiply thirty-four by two. So now. I will tell you a trick for doing this multiplication. Here we are going to split 34 in two convenient part. That is 30 and 4. That is three tens and four units. So as 30 is a tens number, it is easily to multiply. Thirty-four multiplied by two. So as we have split it, three tens and four units. So first we will multiply thirty, that is three tens by two. So two zeros are zero, and two threes are six. So answer is sixty. Then two multiplied by four, that is eight. Now, students, you are going to add this sixty and eight. So sixty plus eight, sixty-eight. So 
our answer is 34 multiplied by 2 is 68. Next is 56 multiplied by 3. So we are going to split 56 into two convenient part that is 5 tenths and 6 units that is 50 and 6. Now we are going to do in the lattice method. So we are going to write it down in the table form. Now 50 multiply by 3. So 3 zeros are 0 and 3 fives are 50. So our answer is 150. 3 multiply by 6. So 3 six are 18. Now students, we have to add this two to get our final product. So 150 plus 18 is 168. So our answer is 56 multiplied by 3 is equal to 168. Next is multiplying two two-digit numbers, the lattice method. So our first sum is 25 multiplied by 12. So we have to multiply 25 by 12. So we shall again split the numbers into convenient parts and multiply using the lattice method. So let's split these numbers like this. 25 as 2 tens and 5 units that is 20 and 5 and 12 as 1 ten and 2 units that is 10 and 2. Now we are going to make the table so the lattice method we are going to solve in the lattice method so we are going to multiply 20 by 10 students if there is 0 in the units place of both the numbers then multiply the digit in their tens place and write two zeros after the project so two ones are two and two zeros will come that is 200. Next is 10 multiplied by 5. So you all can do 5 zeros are 0 and 5 ones are 5. So answer is 50. Now we have to multiply 2 by 20. So 2 zeros are 0 and 2 twos are 4. So answer is 40. Next is 2 multiplied by 5. So 2 fives are 10. Now, lastly, we will be adding all these answers to find out our final product. That is 200 plus 50 plus 40 plus 10. So, our answer will be 300. So, students, 25 multiplied by 12 is equal to 300. Next is 29 multiplied by 29. So, we shall split the numbers into convenient parts using the lattice method. So 29 we are going to split as 2 tens and 9 unit that is 20 and 9. Same way for the other 29 we are going to split as 2 tens and 9 units. Now we are going to write in the lattice form. So 20 multiply by 20. So we shall multiply here 2 into 2. So 2 twos are 4. And we are just going to put 2 zeros after the products. 
students as i told if there is a num zero in the units place of both the numbers then multiply by the digits in their tens place and write two zeros after the product so two two za four and two zeros will come that is 400 now we are going to multiply 20 by 9 so 9 zeros are 0 and 9 twos are 18 so our answer is 180 same for the next 9 multiply by 20 so 9 zeros are 0 and 9 twos are 18 so our answer is 180 next is 9 multiply by 9 what is the answer students very good 81 so now lastly we are going to add all these products to get our final product so 400 plus 180 plus 180 plus 81 so you are going to do the addition so our answer is 841 So students, today we have learnt about multiplication of tens, multiplication of two digit number by one digit number, the lattice method and multiplying two two digit numbers, the lattice method. So students, your homework is multiply 20 into 3 and 4 tenths into 2 tenths. Multiplication of 2 digit number by 1 digit number, the lattice method. Next is multiplying two two-digit numbers, the lattice method. Your 71 into 12. So you're going to split it and make table. I hope you have understood the lesson. Thank you.